Did you know technology is allowing the Kent Police Department to create a safer community? As law enforcement officers progress towards automated systems and state-of-the-art equipment, they find themselves reliant upon technology for communication, navigation, and overall operation in order to more effectively prevent crime. We use technology uh, virtually every day. I, I couldn't imagine going out and doing this job in any way, shape, or form without having the technology that we have available to us. I mean, everything from the state of the art uh, automatic license plate reader that we use to go out and run and check license plates for stolen cars and wanted subjects to the uh, laptops that we have in the car here, um, which give us access to our databases, uh, crime files, information sharing, gathering. Um, so we use it on a daily basis. And, and the trend right now is information technology, information uh, intelligence-led policing is how we're, uh, we're, we're currently going after and finding suspects and arresting them. Uh, technology helps us be out in front of crime trends with our crime analysis and studying what's happening in the city and getting onto it before it becomes a big problem. Uh, and being prepared to handle those problems make us all safer. Uh, it's, uh, it's that whole adage that knowledge is power and technology allows us uh, to have that knowledge and to be safer. As technology advances in the private sector, law enforcement finds a way to adapt that to our needs. Uh, computers are, are a perfect example. Uh, this license plate reader system that I've referenced several times started out in the private sector in parking lots. They were a way to track people coming and going in parking lots for businesses that sold space or parking or lease parking space. Uh, we took that technology, or someone did, and adapted it to law enforcement. So I see that trend continuing, and I see more automation coming out in, in what we do, less of the tedious manual things that we used to do, and more of, of technology-based or technology-reliant uh, sources for, for doing those tasks. I think processes that are going away for sure, handwriting documents, those are going away. Everything's either on a computer or some kind of uh, uh, typewritten document. So that's going away. Even our tickets uh, in the very near future will all be automated. Our computer-aided dispatch center, uh, known as CAD, the next generation of that technology, will automatically give us GPS coordinates on where to go and how to find people uh, um, and how to get best routes to get in and around traffic to get to a, a scene or a location. This is a rolling office. We've got laptops in there, wireless cell phones, we've got two different radio communications in here, the old VHF system, and we've got a uh, 800 megahertz digital system as well in here. Uh, we get wireless, uh, two different intranet and intranet wireless capability in the car. I mean, everything about it is, is utilizing uh, everything on the forefront of technology that you would for an office put into a car. Uh, these automations in, in technology allow the officer to be uh, more flexible with their time and more responsive to people's needs. Um, I would strongly encourage any computer science classes that you can get a hold of, anything that helps you to type and, and data process better, um, I, would, I would certainly get in that. I can't see any career path, law enforcement or any other, that's not going to require a good dose of, of being able to use technology.